If you want to use a TM1 cube for reporting purposes using a framework manager package, there is one thing you need to do. You need to open Server Explorer, select the cube, right click on it, select properties and pick the dimension that is your measure for that cube. And you just click OK. After creating the framework manager package, you can now use the TM1 cube in Report Studio for example. You can see that the cube is here with three dimensions and one measure, the one we selected before. If you expand the dimension, you will see that the levels have been created for you. Sometimes you may want to rename the levels. I'm going to show you that now. It is a simple two-step process. First, you go in Server Explorer, select the View Option menu, display the control objects, expand the cubes, and scroll down to locate a cube called Haraki Properties. Double-click to open it, select the dimension you are interested in, and now you just have to rename those levels. Level 000 is the top of your hierarchical structure. So in my case, I'm going to call that total cakes. Press enter, then I have my cake types. And finally, lowest level, the cakes. I am done with step one, I can close my queue. The second and final step is to create a Turbo Integrator job in which you are going to code the following function. If you go in the advanced and then the prologue tab, you just need to code that one liner that says refresh MDX hierarchy and between run brackets and single quotes the name of the dimension for which you want to rename the level. When you're ready, save your process, run it, and then after republishing the package, you can go in Report Studio and verify that your dimension has the new level name. This was Christoph Impliciati for Bistec. I thank you for your attention and we are looking forward to doing business with you.